Gentlemen, I actually, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm a little scared just sitting here in front of you. The minds that come up with these stories like this. But I read that um, there was a little bit of curiosity that prompted this whole thing. What, did you say, like, wh why is it there another Blair Witch? Is that a true story? Well, yeah, actually, I was, uh, we were, uh, this was 2013 uh, at Sundance. We had a movie called VHS 2 there, and uh, it's an anthology short film feature. And uh, the original director uh, of the Blair Witch Project, Eduardo Sanchez, had participated in that. And that was the first time we actually got to meet him in person, him and Greg Hale, who also produced the original. And um, I actually was talking to him, and, uh, you know, this was like literally two weeks before Lionsgate came to us and said, you know, do you want to do a Blair Witch film? But I was talking to Eduardo and I, you know, was like, when do you think that they're going to, you know, reboot or remake or do a sequel to this thing? Because it feels like it's about that time, you know, it feels like found footage has gone through this whole cycle and it's about time to get back to its roots. And, you yeah. Do you do you guys like to scare people? Do you realize that you're making people stay up? Me. All night with the lights on. I mean, where does this come from? Yeah, I mean, I love scaring people, but I also just like as a viewer love being scared. I mean, if a movie can can get me and surprise me, that's my favorite thing as a viewer. Yeah, I mean, you know, like I, I think our, our whole approach to this film was that we wanted to do our first full on, you know, horror film. And, you know, we, we've, we're, we're known through the circuit as horror filmmakers in general. But truthfully, we've never really made a full on horror movie where that the full commitment was being scary. We've done a lot of kind of funny deconstructions of the genre. But this is our first time where from the very get go, uh, we said we're going to try to make, you know, one of the scariest movies ever made. You brought up something, the evolution of the found footage genre. Um, is it more difficult now, you think, to, to do these types of films? I mean, yes and no. It's more difficult because certainly audiences are, are you know, who've experienced this kind of fat, post paranormal activity fad of found footage films um, are more savvy to like, you know, the, the tool, the narrative tools and more annoyed of scenes of like characters introducing cameras and not putting them down or they getting chased by monsters and so on. But, uh, but technology on the other hand has evolved to a point where you know, like like some of the cameras that we use in the film, like the little body cameras that the characters are wearing on their ears and, and drones and things like that. Cameras are getting smaller, better quality. Obviously we didn't shoot with the actual cameras that you see on screen, but it's not totally like implausible that we would. And so that also in some ways makes it easier. The tools are more interesting and they allow you to do more kind of scary things like create kind of basic POV horror set pieces, which is what, you know, we did. Well, yeah, and, and you know, we're constantly asked over the course of the last few years, you know, like, do you think that found footage is gonna go away is it a fad? And uh, and I can you know uh, confidently say no, it's not going away because it, it's one of these things that it's going to constantly evolve as technology evolves and as there's new as, as there's new ways to film things and, it, and these things you know devices become smaller. There's going to be new inspirations that filmmakers are going to come up with and uh, you know and, and found footage is one of those things that the story is synonymous with the uh, the style of it, the way that why the characters are filming and and that that'll breed just new approaches to horror. You know. All right. So final question for you both. Uh, Blair Witch, there's going to be more. I'm going to call it right now. Uh, Blair Witch coming to Texas, maybe, to Houston? Can I throw it out there? <laughs> what, like the actual Blair Witch? Yeah, let's bring her down to Texas. I mean, the woods would really have to like take over. Like a huge, <laughs> the Burkittsville Forest would have to really expand, um, which doesn't seem to be the way things are going, but I, I would love the idea. 